Hi, how are you? I'm Godfrey Majuri, and this is the first part of our series, where on this video I'm just going to show you the kind of project that you might need to make for you to have an A in computer science. So for now, I'm just going to show you the sample application on which I will be showing you step by step on making it on the following videos. So after the series, your project will be able to be installed in your computer, like this. Um, now after the installation, you can see the icon on the desktop, uh, and you'll be able to open it as an application that is already running in your computer. Oh, it's taking a while. Okay, now. Um, so this one is the login form. On the login form, we have the username, password, and um, we also have the position of the user. So on the username, you just have to enter your name. Uh, and uh, on the password, I'm just going to type uh, the wrong password. Then, uh, for the moment, you can choose your position. If your password is wrong, a pop-up message will show that you have uh, Send that the wrong password, even if you choose the username, and um, you write the the username you have entered on the login form. So now I'm typing the correct the correct password. And you have a successful message saying you have successfully entered the correct password. So the the login form will appear, and also showing the progress okay um, I wasn't supposed to say. okay so this one is our main menu and we have uh, so I'm just going to start on database so for database you first have to be authenticated and uh, you have to enter your username and I'm going to just type my username I don't know doesn't care which username you use. In the password, I'm just going to enter the wrong password. And it say it is sorry that you have entered the wrong password. And if you close it, it is not going to give you an access to the database. So now I'm just going to enter again my name. Then uh, and also type the correct password. So if you have entered the correct password, it will grant you the, uh, the permission to access the database. So if now you can look at the message. So now you've seen uh, the the, the buttons pop up after correct message. Then this one is just uh, these are just the forms which are just contain the database of our system. Okay. I just so if you have entered the correct uh, password at the first, it, you have seen that it will just appear again, and you don't have to type it in again. Unlike when you enter the wrong password, it just goes. Okay. So I'm going to join for the settings for the settings. We have the help where you are going to be told about uh, our temporary farmers and uh, permanent farmers. It just sh give you the information, brief information of what are those. And also you have the change password. For the change password, you'll be able to change the password and uh, for the whole system. Then now I'm just going to show you on the queries. We just have two queries on the system. Uh, we have this query. So. If you see on the database, it's giving us all the information. But if you choose uh, permanent or temporary, it just if you run the query, it just gives you what you have chosen. Uh, okay, so that's about the queries. And uh, now for the forms, I will show you the first uh, form, which is already running right now. It is picking data from the database. You don't have to type in, uh, and we have a um, submission form, which is also a little bit little, but beautiful. Okay, so we also have a form where we need to calculate things. So, like for example, on this sales form, um, okay, for this, I'm just going to explain to you the, the calculations on it. I'm not going to type in any of things. So here you have to choose the method of payment, and it will already give you the the discount in dollars and the discount in percentage. If you enter the weight, it already calculates you 
for it already calculates you the unit price then um and give you also the sub total you are supposed to pay due to your discount depending on the method of payment you have chosen so if you have earned the amount you have if the user has paid it will calculate the change and if there is no change if there is no change let me change uh, the value then put it a little bit value lower than the subtotal it will tell you that there is no change okay so now even if just change the weight it will already automatically change on the, the subtotal and uh, now if you choose the method of payment if you choose another method of payment the disc for example that the uh, e-money it have a discount percentage of five percent credit is a it has zero discount so you just have to pay the unit price that is that price on the subtotal and um on the changes it is it just to work uh, the same with other methods of payment if there is no change it shows there is no change if there is change it will give you the, the amount to be paid to be returned to the buyer so that's all for that form there are also other forms which have calculations so we'll deal with this when we'll be on the other part of the series so we also have this um, which is a, a little bit nice you can see so you'll be able to produce a project like this so you have to enter your own details but it'll be beautiful and uh, nice so on here if you want if you click that button it will show you information about those temporary inform temporary informers if you want more information about temporary farmers or permanent farmers, just like uh, when you click on the help, so here it will give you access to this. So that's more of the project. So we'll be dealing with it on the next part of the series. So you should click. So this is all for this first part. I was just showing you the kind of project that we'll be making on the following videos. So hit the subscribe button and also notification bell for more videos that I'm going to be posting where we'll be starting making the project. So if you also like the video, please hit that like button. Thank you.